Hi guys, David here with Fresh Baked and we've got some more updates for you on construction projects going on around the Disneyland Resort. And we'll start with the downtown Disney demo of the AMC theaters. Last week we saw some wild looking footage of them trying to take down the Earl of Sandwich awning. She put up a good fight. So too did the AMC Theater Rotunda. Man, that's, that is just, I, I wish I could have been there in person for that one. But she did fall as well. Today, there's, there's nothing left but rubble and sorting out the recyclable materials from that rubble. Not even two months ago, it looked like this. You couldn't see anything at all as you passed by the AMC Theater building. Now today, it's clear skies all the way to the Disneyland Hotel. Unfortunately for us, uh, the next phase of this project will be kind of boring. Uh, it takes forever for them to go from demo to vertical construction. I mean, forever. It seems like they're not doing anything. There's going to be weeks of getting all that debris taken out of there. And then you got to dig up and prep a new foundation for, uh, for those new structures. But that's when things start to get interesting again. So I'm looking forward to when we might see those foundations in steel and they show us a little bit how the layout might eventually look. So stay tuned to Fresh Bake for constant updates on this project. It's going to be fun. Let's go next to another very interesting project going on in New Orleans Square. Disney is in the process of updating the walkways through New Orleans Square in an effort to improve the guest experience. You know, that is to say, you know, how guests navigate that part of the park, especially on a busy day when the Pirates of the Caribbean queue is extended. And then also to hopefully improve guest's ability to view Fantasmic. So far, we've only seen these walls that are up around the areas that are used for the, you know, the Pirates of the Caribbean extended queue. But in the last couple days, new walls have popped up. New walls on a different level than the others. Much smaller in scale, yes, but worrisome just a little bit, <laughs> uh, for me anyway, as it suggests they might maybe extending their plans further than I had hoped from one level down to the other. But do also note that these walls and the similar set of walls on the opposite side are both around those trap door type areas for the phantasmic lighting instrument. So while these could be for regrading like the others, it's just as likely that they're for a purpose completely separate from that and related only to those lighting instruments. I'm not sure, because they just worked on those recently. They just had those things open and they were working on them, uh, I, I want to say like a month or two ago. But it's possible... They're doing further improvements on that area. Uh, my guess is the latter, that the, that's, this isn't a regrading situation and that its scope is limited to those lighting instruments. It's April 2nd as I prepare this video with the project expected to run right up to the May 28th start date of Fantasmic. So I think it's safe to say there's more to come. Let's go next door to Pirates of the Caribbean where we've had a few over-the-wall images shared with us. The first shot, courtesy of Fresh Baked Street Tamer, Byron Jesse. Trees are completely gone, as is all of the concrete around it. This shot, I mean, it doesn't, it almost doesn't look real. This is not, the, this is not the Pirates of the Caribbean queue. I don't know what this is. This is some, I don't recognize this place. Uh, I mean, that's how important those trees were. They were everything to this part of the attraction. I mean, it, it seems local and, and, and insignificant local in terms of scope of the overall attraction. So far, I think we can say they aren't doing any kind of reconfiguration of the queue, the physical aspects of the queue. Not that I expected any. It's going to function, I think, by, the, by all appearances, the same as it did before. These are curious, though. A couple of days later, we got this shot from street tamer Kevin Beach. Even more of the concrete flooring has been taken out, but this tree stump is hanging in there for now. Railings have been covered, and again, this indicates to me that those are staying as is. Still wondering about this thing, although there's only one of those now instead of two. No date yet for the return of Pirates. Disney's attraction calendar shows it closed for as far into the future as we can see, and as of now, that's May 14th. So we know it won't be back before then, before May 14th. Meanwhile, across the way at the Rivers of America, it looks like they're in the final stages of the Phantasmic Fountain updates with each of the three fountains in progressively more complete status. 
the far right fountain as you face it when you're you know, on the Mark Twain or Columbia is partially covered, suggesting that they're done with this area of the rig at least. Meanwhile, in the center fountain, they've lowered the rig into what looks to be probably, maybe it's pre-show position, and then they raise it up for the show a little bit. I'd be willing to bet 100 fresh baked credits that this thing right here in the middle is the actual fountain that projects the mist upon which the show projections are shown. Show magic. <laughs> Just my guess, though. I could be wrong. And from here, from this view on the Rivers of America, we can see that the far left fountain is complete and submerged. It is done, ready for show. And that means that those Tom Sawyer Island rafts are once again able to make direct trips from dock to dock. So no more round trips around the entire Rivers of America. Kind of bums me out a little bit. I, I really enjoyed that. I love going around the rivers, be that on the Mark Twain, on the Columbia, uh, you know, in a Davy Crockett canoe, or on a Tom Sawyer raft. I really love going around the river. Uh, okay, so speaking of things coming back, looks like that sailing ship Columbia has completed its refurb. Probably a fair amount of new paint on there and updated rigging on those sails for Fantasmic. Seems like everything our eyes take in gets us closer and closer to Fantasmic returning, and that makes me happy. Still no closer, though, to Finding Nemo. He is <laughs> MIA <laughs> still. Uh, the park calendar shows it closed as far again into the future as May 14th. We're going to do this drive-by, though, anyway, though I'm not expecting to learn anything new. It looks about like it has the past, I don't know, dozen or so trips on the monorail. The only real visible difference to me that I've seen is that they've covered the subtracks. Looks like maybe they're getting a refresh now. I don't know if it's new paint. Do you paint submarine tracks? This is the most mystifying thing in the history of things that don't make sense. Why they even started this project is a mystery. See where I'm going? But, <laughs> but then when they did, we're like, oh, great. Nemo's coming back. Guess I was wrong about Nemo being closed forever and never, ever coming back. Except it's still closed, like nine months later. So my, my prediction is still intact. <laughs> All right. End tirade. See you next week. Here's a tree. One last thing to cover, and that's these walls up around the Buena Vista Street stop at the red car trolley. Can't really tell what they're working on, but I can say that they're not exactly over the actual stop, the stop where they would actually charge up the red car. Uh, that would be a little further to camera right. So it's possible this hasn't anything to do with the actual functionality of the red car. It could be something unrelated, but close enough anyway to make me believe it's a decent sign of the trolley's return sometime soon, which is a rumor that we reported not long ago. The plan would be to have it make just three stops rather than the traditional four. A stop here at Buena Vista Street, one at Carthay Circle, and one on Hollywood Boulevard right in front of the animation building. No stop at Avengers Campus. They would park it and bring it out of backstage before and after regular park hours. And that's all we have for you today, guys, but do stay tuned. We've got lots to talk about as the projects in New Orleans Square and downtown Disney progress. It's going to be an interesting spring and summer. Uh, but until next time, follow us on Instagram at underscore FreshBaked, on Twitter at FreshBakedDisney, that's Fresh with no E, and on TikTok at FreshBakedDisney. And we've also got our website at freshbakedisney.com. And if you like our show and want to show you support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash freshbaked. Also, if you're planning to book a trip to Disneyland, uh, Disney World, any theme park, anywhere really, uh, you can do so through our affiliation with Getaway Today. There is a link and a description on the benefits below in the description. Book your, book your package through Getaway today, and you can help support Fresh Baked a little bit. We are affiliated with them now. So thanks for that, guys, and thank you very much again for watching. We love you very much. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. And Fresh Baked.